Hey guys, this is your Chester Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming potential blizzard that could be happening in portions of the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley area, and maybe in portions of the Northeast. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the ECMWF model, the latest run, 12Z. And you can see here, right around November 30th, the afternoon of November 30th, a system pushes through that has thunderstorms being produced as far north as Virginia and as far south as Cuba producing thunderstorms with a very, very strong pressure, 984 millibars, with very heavy snow on the western side of the system in Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio. And this model, the ECMWF, has been very consistent with the system and the location of it, the intensity of it. It's been very consistent, which has me alarmed that this may actually happen. Moving along to the morning of December 1st, the first day of December, it still remains strong with a pressure of 985 millibars with moderate snowfall in Michigan into southeastern Wisconsin, northeastern Illinois, and continuing in Kentucky and West Virginia. While the snow is not as heavy as it was in November 30th, Blizzard conditions will still be possible because of the incredibly strong winds with this system that may push it to blizzard conditions, and we could see blizzard warnings with this depending on what actually happens. And moving along into December 2nd, the system lingers around, weakening to a pressure of 993 millibars while snow continues in southeastern Wisconsin, northeastern Illinois, and the Ohio Valley. Some snow potentially some heavy, happens in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan where blizzard conditions are also possible. And most of the snow ends up dissipating by December 3rd. So this will be a multi-day event that could happen and bring lots of snow and blizzard conditions. This is total accumulated snowfall with the same model. And you can see in portions of Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, 19, 20 inches, 27 inches, 25 inches of snow, over two feet of snow is possible in these pinker regions to more peachy colored regions. And then the rest of Ohio and the blue and light pink is six to 10 inches. And in Northeastern Illinois in the Chicago area, six to eight inches. And Wisconsin, three to six inches. And the Upper Peninsula, six to eight inches as well. This will be a very powerful system that will likely push through. Looking at the GDPS model of the latest run 12Z that has also been very consistent with this system. It has a strong system pressure of 990 millibars with snow on the western end of the system on that same day, November 30th, dropping potential blizzard conditions in Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana as it makes that same path northwards and strengthens into a pressure of 987 millibars, leaving possible blizzard conditions behind in Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio. As that snow pushes more towards the west and potentially northeastern Illinois and Wisconsin, as it generally starts hanging around the Great Lakes region, dropping more snow, though blizzard conditions are less likely with this model in the upper Great Lakes, and it ends up dissipating by December 4th. This is total accumulated snowfall from the GDPS model, and you can see Indiana, Ohio, still lots of snow, over 8 inches in some areas. Michigan is the main state that gets hit the hardest here, with 24 inches, 18 inches, 26, 30 inches in some areas. In the Upper Peninsula, same thing, up to 20 inches. In Wisconsin, far less, towards 3 to 5. Same with Northeastern Illinois, 1 to 3. It's going to be a very messy system, very hard to forecast, and it's probably going to happen. The GFS model, I would personally tell you to disregard this model. This model has been absolutely awful with this system. It's changed each and every run, 
absolutely no consistency at all. Not a single drop of consistency. But I'm going to show you what the GFS does show anyways. But please disregard this. This will probably not happen. This has very heavy snow, likely blizzard conditions in New York, northern Pennsylvania, as it strengthens towards the northeast and does not impact the Great Lakes region at all while it hangs around there and drops more blizzard conditions. Total snowfall from the GFS has um, still quite a bit of snow for Indiana, Ohio, but it's much farther east with potentially up to 30 inches of snow in New York around the Buffalo area. But like I said, disregard this for now, it had no consistency. Unlike the GDPS and the ECMWF, those models had plenty of consistency. And they've been consistent with this system every inch of the way. Question of the day for this video is how many inches of snow do you think this potential blizzard, if it happens, drops at most? Comment your answers below and I'll come over. That's just the weather forecast for this upcoming potential blizzard. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.